I'm Elizabeth Meineke for OFB TV. It's our uh, first video of the 2011-2012 NHL season. The Capitals just uh, completed uh, kind of a, a thorough beating of the Detroit Red Wings. Both teams were unbeaten coming into the game, and, and the Capitals emerged winning 7-1. It's certainly a strange game. Uh, right, right off the bat, it looked like Detroit might pop up, up in a goal early, but Thomas McCoon kind of, uh, he made a lot of good saves down that stretch. And, you know, kind of, last couple games, he's been keeping the Capitals in it. Um, and then when Detroit's uh, top two season took a penalty behind the net, the ill advised penalty, the Capitals took full advantage and put a goal in and never really looked back. And it's funny, you wouldn't think with a 7-1 score that um, penalty killing would be an important point, but the Caps killed off one of two five-on-threes. And Boudreaux actually mentioned in his post-game that you know being able to kill off that uh, second five-on-three, even though they'd given up a goal on the first one, was really important to the team. Yep. And I think uh, one underrated factor, too, was the uh, play of Troy Brower. Even though he, didn't, he only got one assist in the game, uh, both of Green's goals, I believe, he was right in front, uh, screening uh, Ty Conklin. And you can just tell he couldn't, you know, he didn't really see the shot. I think it was really important, you know. Caps don't have a lot of those players go right to the net, crash your net, and Brower played that goal tonight. Another really important point, too, is that, you know, Detroit's an extremely disciplined team. Even though they were coming off of a game the night before, and they, they know how to, to stay to stay with it and to keep pushing throughout um, an entire game. But Matthew Crow said that he really felt um, them start to lose energy when he scored um, at the very end of the, the second period. So that was kind of a turning point for you know the Capitals feeling, okay, we finally kind of had Detroit really on their heels now. Yep, and I mean, that was a turning point in the game because that's a, a shot he really has to have. Uh, you know, basically, if he goes down backwards, he covers the puck. But the puck's sitting there, Pro taps it in. 7.6 seconds on the second period, and pretty much a floodgates open in the third period to kind of make it around. So the Capitals head out to the West Coast. Uh, we had to watch uh, from uh, their couches yeah. <laughs> for those two games. Also, I just wanted to thank, I realized I didn't introduce him at the beginning of the video, uh, Ted Starkia with the Washington Times. Thanks for helping us out tonight. Absolutely. Thanks much.